Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here in what will become a very familiar scene. Today, sadly, will be the last day that I do a daily upload. Now, I'm totally bummed about that because this has become part of my life. I, I mean, for over a year and a half, now, not every day, way back then, but definitely this year, since January, I've posted every day and I've just gotten used to it, and it's, it's part of my thing. So I'm kind of bummed that I'm not going to be able to post every day, but forward and up, change is inevitable, whatever you want to say. That being said, I'm gonna be back on the road. I know I've been saying this the past few videos, I was supposed to be back on the road last week, but because of the gas, shortage because of a bunch of hoarding dumbasses and the governor having to call a state of emergency in Virginia, there was no way that I was going to go on the road, especially into unfamiliar territory because everything that I would have done last week would have been in all the areas that I've never had before. There's no way that I was going to drive all over Timbuktu, you know, hoping that I would find a place to get gas. Not happen. So I worked that out. Everything seems to be calmed down now. In fact, I got gas yesterday with no problems. And they even took down the sign saying they don't have the, the premium grades. So yes, back on the road this week, I'm gonna be heading up to Maryland. I still have to do a bunch of work tonight. So this will be my, like my normal office day. I'm not going out tomorrow, but I got way too much shit to do uh, to get prepared for that because I haven't gone on the road in a year and a half. I've got to wash all you know the things. I got to find my pillow that I take to the hotels with me. I, you know, I already checked all my toiletries to make sure that I have everything that I need for life on the road for a few days. But I've got to map out a route, I've got to find a hotel, or hotels, you know, all that stuff. So that's what I'm gonna be doing tonight. And in anticipation of, of having to stuff my fat ass back into business attire, I went through my stuff yesterday and was pleasantly surprised to find out that it all fit, sort of. So yes, it fit around my, my gut, so my gut is going down, and I verified that today when I weighed in less than I have been for the past two weeks. Continue to, to, to drop weight very slowly, but very steadily, and it's motivating me now that I have to get back into business attire and get on the road and all that kind of stuff. I do not want to fall back into the old shitty habits that I had, which are not eating at all, not peeing on the road for several hours, not drinking a drop of liquid except for coffee, and then gorging one gigantic, disgusting meal for dinner, and then laying in a hotel room all night watching the same old forensic shows. So I have already determined that I am going to leave my house in the morning with a cliff bar and coffee that I make at home, save some money. Then I'm going to stop somewhere for lunch and have a reasonable lunch, probably a salad. Then I won't be completely famished by the time I get to dinner so that I won't need to gorge a gigantic dinner down. And that being said, you bet your ass that the first thing I'm gonna do when I go out is go to a freaking steak restaurant and get the best steak that I can find. Because I haven't had a good steak in a year and a half, at least. So yeah, I'm all about getting a steak. I already told my wife I was gonna send her pictures. <laughs> so. What did I do? Today, I went to the mall. The last time I went and, and got a bunch of clothing, I actually went to Express for Men because I used to go to Kohl's and you know they make you feel like you're saving a bundle, but their stuff sucks. And it just doesn't, it just doesn't look right, it doesn't feel right, all that stuff. So she's like, you know, I used to go to Express all the time, maybe Express for Men will have something better. And I actually did find a lot of nice clothes. Now, when I went there the last time, it was after I had lost like 20 something pounds and I needed new clothes because all my shit, I looked like David Byrne in Talking Heads, you know, with the big suit. Everything was just huge and flappy on me. So I ended up getting slim fit stuff. I haven't worn slim fit stuff since I was a diver. I mean, it, it, insane. And back then I didn't have to wear anything but a pair of shorts. So, I mean, I couldn't believe that I was buying slim fit stuff and that it fit me and I looked good in it. So I went back and again, I fit into the slim fit stuff and I went there to get another pair of pants because the pants that I had weren't long enough and I'm wearing I'm wearing my snakeskin boots now and it, 
you know, I put them on and I was like, mm, this isn't gonna work. They keep coming up over the top of the boot. And, you know, my wife looked at it and she's like, yeah, dude, that's not falling right. That I, you know, and I was like, yeah, they're just not long enough. I'll have to get another pair of pants, get them longer, maybe a smidge bigger just so that, you know, I've got room. I thought, well, I probably should get a jacket too. So I was like, screw it. I'll just go to freaking Express today and I'll check out what they got. And okay, they had good stuff. I found a pair of pants right away in the size that I was looking for, the last pair. You know, they had several jackets, but a lot of them felt like cheap and just I didn't like the fabric or the way it felt but I did find one that actually went with the pants it's not a suit but it, it what do they call them suit separates and the jacket was a really nice material and it fit perfectly I'm still gonna have to start doing sit-ups and, and core work but anyways it fit and all that and I was like okay you know I, I had planned on having to go in there and spend a bunch of money because I hate buying clothing, but I need clothes and clothes are expensive. And nothing was on sale. Everything that I grabbed was off of the one rack that didn't have any sale shit on it. And I was like, that figures. So I thought the jacket was gonna be 250 and the pants were gonna be 80. And it turns out that they were on sale. The pants weren't on sale, but the jacket was a hundred bucks off. So I ended up getting the pants and the jacket for less than the price of the jacket originally, and, and but yet I didn't know that it was marked that way. So I got exactly what I needed for way the hell less than I thought I was going to, and I was in and out. One of the fastest trips I've ever had to the mall to buy clothing, not only fast, but also getting what I want, and also getting it on sale. Win, total score. All right, and now I'm here to get Bean. It is. 89 degrees so it's right around 90 up and down a little bit and i'm in long black pants snakeskin boots and i'm ready to pass out like i was in that express for men you know trying on clothes and i thought i was going to pass out it was so freaking hot in that store I, like ugh. okay gonna go get some bean and um yeah i don't know what else i'm gonna do today we'll figure it out all right kids back in the studio and completely schwitzing it's over 90 degrees outside, so we pretty much went from, eh, yeah, it's kind of nice out to, oh my god, it's hot. It's only a matter of time before it booms up to over 100, and the humidity really kicks in, and we're all just like, oh. But I will take this over minus 55 any day. That's why I moved from Chicago to Virginia Beach. Okay, so it was a productive day, sort of. I slept in because I had a freaking horrible headache. Never really went away, but I know why I have it. This one isn't so much like, oh, although that's always there. It's here because of the sheer amount of sodium that I had since Friday. I stopped on the way back from Pleasure House Point and I got us some Chinese food and it is so, so salty that I think my system is like, dude, what the frick are you doing? So I've got my bottle of water there. I'm just gonna be guzzling water for the rest of the night to try to get that out of my system because I kind of felt it yesterday and then today I finished the last of mine and I'm like, okay, ugh, no more of that for a while. So although I woke up with a headache, I was like, eh. Then I was gonna get bagels again, but the online ordering was down and that was annoying. So we ended up just cooking breakfast and eased into our day. Now I have to do laundry and then I gotta get cracking on my day job office work, which is a plenty. So I'm gonna cut this short. What more can I say? You went out with me this morning a little bit when I was on my way to go get clothing. And now I just got, I got stuff to do. So again, sadly, this is my last daily upload. I will not be posting videos every day. Now, I might go the Gene Nagata route, in which case I'm filming every day, and I may put those all into one video whenever I get home and have time to, to edit all that, or I might not. This is all gonna be experimental for me now because I haven't done this in so long. Remember, I didn't start actual daily posting until last year when the pandemic hit and I didn't go on the road again for a year and a half. So, all brand new, bringing you along with me. I'm gonna see what I can come up with to make it interesting and worthwhile to continue posting at all, let alone every day. So probably gonna look at at least once a week, more if I can do it, we'll see as we go along. But this is the last one, 
Uh, for those of you that have tuned in every day, I appreciate you. For those that are interacting, I appreciate you even more. But the ride is over for now until I get a flow going. And then maybe if I actually can figure out how to do this efficiently without taking $5 billion worth of stuff with me and having to lug it all, then this is what, what is going to happen. I'll be posting once a week, more towards the end of the week. And we'll, we'll figure that out as we go. So that's it. That's all I've got for you. As always... Thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.